Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're going to do an interior clean out of the Rectech RTB380. Enjoy. Alright, so yesterday I cooked up three racks of baby back ribs, so and today I'm doing a high heat cook, so I really want to make sure I get that inside cleaned out. Um, took a peek in there, it's pretty hammered, but just pretty much general maintenance on this thing. Let's go over to the Rectech, get her cleaned out. Alright, here we go. Some of the tools of the trade you'll need. Leather gloves, always my go-to. Plastic scraper. A brush for the grill grates. And using... Well, I started with paper towels, but then I got smart and went with the rag. So just brushing up the grill grates here. Just knocking everything down because we're going to end up shot back in it at the end. Next on to the deflector shield. See, it's pretty hammered. So we're just taking that over to the sink with some hot water. Probably should have scraped on it first. Tried my brush. No success. So as you'll see here, we go with the scraper. And this is all in two times speed. I'm really not that fast. For those of you who are, were thinking. That saved you guys some time on this one. Pretty basic stuff, but I thought it needed to be shown. All right, to the inside. So here's where I tried the paper towels. It didn't work. I was getting them stuck on the self-tapping screws from the legs. And then I'm getting some stuff out, but... Not really how I had intended. Just scraping everything down. Getting those big chunks off. And you really have some problems around those screws again. There we go. Get a little smarter here. Using that rag. And I went back at the end here. You know, you've seen a couple pictures. I didn't really get that detailed around there, but I detailed around there a little better. Uh, after I was done shooting the video. Just want to make this one quick for you guys. Again, we're in two times. And firing up the shop vac. Nobody wants to hear a shop vac going. Plus, I have the tunes blaring. So, can't do that. Clean out the pellet hopper there. For a four hour cook that I just had, there was very minimal ash buildup. Alright, so let's check this out. So, if you watch the video there on the ribs, I developed a drip. So the drip was coming through, and the only place in this box that I can determine it's coming through is these are the legs for the wheels, or the screws for the wheels. So I think in the future, in the near future, what I'm going to do there is get those cleaned out and put some of that uh, fire caulking around there, so hopefully it doesn't leak, leak out the bottom. It's a fire pot here, so for four hours of cooking, there's really minimal hash in there. And then I sucked all that out, and that... What it also does is suck out the prime pellets. So before I fire it up again, I'm going to have to throw a couple pellets in there. But other than that, there she is. All I'm doing here is just putting her back together. So just priming it with some pellets down there, throwing it in the heat deflector, followed by the grill grates, and that's it. We're done. Hey, thanks for watching that quick cleanup video on the Rectech RTB380. What I found out there is paper towels work okay, but rags work a whole heck of a lot better. I'll put a subscribe icon for you right there, just to make it easy. Another video. 
right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.